Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. With the large number of ICOs that are coming out on the NEO platform in the near future, I thought it would be worth going over how to work with those tokens and how you can transfer them in and out of your wallet since there is not necessarily a dedicated wallet for each of those tokens at this point. So here we are on State of NEO and you can see the list of ICOs is continuing to grow. Things like the, the Neon Exchange, uh, known as Nex. Um, this is going to be a decentralized exchange powered by NEO. Um, Q-Link, um, it's a decentralized mobile network, um, which is a, a, an interesting technology. I'm not going to go through all these in detail, just a, a few that have been coming out recently. Deep Brain, um, and the list has gone on and on. There are about 27 ICOs in January right now. All of those tokens are a type called NEP5 or NEP5. Um, this is analogous to the ERC20 token for Ethereum. So these will work much like those tokens and also the ability to work with them with a wallet address will be very similar. So any NEO wallet address you have will be able to send and receive NEP5 tokens. So um, to, to show you how we will work with this, I will be using the NEON wallet, which is a wallet I've covered a number of times on my channel. Um, and these tokens are currently uh, available, or a few of these tokens like Deep Brain Chain, um, Red Pulse, and Q-Link are available on uh, a, a few different places, but one place that's been particularly uh, supportive of NEO has been the KuCoin exchange. So I wanted to walk through this. If you have not signed up for KuCoin at this point, there is a link in the description below if you, if you want to get started. I'm going to try to highlight some of the features of uh, why I think uh, KuCoin is actually a nice exchange to use, especially if you are interested in tokens related to NEO. Uh, it's very NEO supportive. So when you uh, go to the KuCoin exchange, the, the homepage, uh, you can immediately see uh, Q-Link starts trading on December 29th, so they're, they're featuring a lot of these. Um, <laughs> you can see on these types of advertisements, Q-Link, Deep Brain Chain, Red Pulse, Neo. Um, this is, these are all coins that are supported here. Um, these are things that are all on, on the homepage. Uh, again, same, same thing. It's all, all these tokens that are on Neo um, are being traded actively on, on KuCoin. So if we go to um, the different assets, um, currently I have um, a very small amount of NEO that I'm going to use and I'm going to purchase one of these NEP5 tokens so that we can send it to our NEON wallet. And I will also show you how to get it back out of your NEON wallet. So um, to be able to exchange on the KuCoin exchange, um, if we go over to markets, you can see that there are multiple ways that you can trade your assets. So there are, um, these are all the different coins that are listed relative to BTC on KuCoin, so there's there's a long list here, uh, much like any exchange. So you can buy and sell with Bitcoin. You can buy and sell with Ethereum, uh, much like every other exchange. But one thing that's differentiated about KuCoin is that you can there there are a limited number of assets, but you can buy and sell directly using Neo, and that includes buying and selling for many of these NEP5 tokens. So here you can see. Red Pulse relative to NEO, um, Q-Link relative to NEO, and Deep Brain Chain relative to NEO. 
So what I want to do is just buy a small amount of this. I have a dummy wallet set up that we can send these to, um, and then we'll try to send it back to the KuCoin exchange. So let's get started with that. Um, the first thing I want to show you on KuCoin is that if you click on this ratio, it will take you to a, a full chart. Um, there's not much history here for Deep Brain Chain yet, but this is a chart um, supported by TradingView. So it gives you full access. We can switch. We can look at 30 minute candles. Um, you have all the indicators that you would normally have. So we can look at relative strength index, the RSI, if we want to. Um, everything that you would see if you were directly on the TradingView website. We can also see the order books here, the buying and selling, and we can buy and sell here um, down in the bottom right-hand corner. You can see your active orders, you can see your order history, you can see um, the buy and sell walls. So everything is here. Um, it's a really nice interface to be able to use. Um, but the other thing that's nice is there's basically a quick link. So let's say we want to buy some deep brain chain. There is a quick shortcut. You can just hit buy um, and it will tell you what the current ask price is. I can enter that. I can say I want the max amount. Um, I can put in the ask price and I'm ready to do that. And I just click buy and my buy order has been placed. So it's just a quick shortcut uh, if you just you don't really care exactly what the price is, where you just want to buy some when you get on. Um, it's very easy. You can buy and sell uh, directly from this page. So that will, if we go into assets now, we will have uh, an available amount of just under 17 um, DBC. So what I want to do now is I want to withdraw that and send it to my Neon wallet. So we're going to click withdraw um, and I'm going to send that over to my Neon wallet. Okay, so this is uh, the dummy wallet that I set up. This is my public Neo address. So the first thing we're going to do is copy that and we are going to um, put that in here. Um, I'm going to have an amount. Let's just send everything over. Um, looks like it doesn't automatically let me click a max, so let's just copy and paste, and I need to put in my two-factor. So, um, we are going to put in this and click confirm. Alright, so that is going to um, go over to you can see that the, the balance just disappeared. And so that should go over um, to the wallet and we will be able to uh, check it out on the Neon wallet. So the one thing that you will notice about the Neon wallet is that it does not currently have a place for these NEP5 tokens. All that it uh, will show you is the value of your NEO and the value of your gas. We can refresh the account balance, get the latest blockchain information. We could sit here and wait for confirmations if, if uh, you know, we thought this was going to show up. But uh, there's actually not a place on the Neon wallet, so we are not going to see the DBC directly within the Neon wallet interface. So to be able to see any of the NEP5 tokens that I have in my wallet, I'm going to go over to neotracker.io. I will link this in the description below. You can think of this as a website that is analogous to my Ether wallet. It gives you access to be able to see things through your Neo address uh, and be able to work with them. So if we click on the wallet tab, we can see we have a new wallet. We can open a wallet. This allows you to create a new wallet. Um, sorry, the new wallet allows you to create a new wallet. We can open a wallet to interact with if we already have a wallet. And then there's a further menu. So um, if you want to open a wallet, so you can open a wallet such as your um, the address you have from your Neon wallet, um, you can do that using a key store file, a private key, or a Neo app file. Here, I'm just going to use my private key from the Neon wallet. So I'm going to um, copy 
and unlock that. So one thing it will allow you to do if you don't want to be regularly sending your private key and you should always protect your private key as much as possible, you can actually, if you enter your private key once, you can create a key store at this point so that you can use your key store file um, in the future to be able to work with NeoTracker. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to go to my wallet um, and now you can see I have zero NEO, zero gas, and my DBC has um, shown up. So that is the DBC that we just bought on KuCoin. And so what we can see here is that this address will match this wallet that we just opened is the same wallet that I have on, on Neon. So even though you can't see the DBC on the Neon wallet, it is here and so any additional NEP5 tokens that you add on will all be listed here. So the other thing that's nice about the NEO tracker is if you actually have NEO in here you can claim your gas directly in here. Um, so that is all um, straightforward and easy to use. So um, what we are going to do now is try to send this back to KuCoin if we wanted to sell our DBC. And so I have, so over here um, on the, the transfer tab, I can get my KuCoin address. So let's go back into assets. We are going to go to, um, let's search, sort this by name. And we can go to Deep Brain Chain, Deposit. This will give me a Deep Brain Chain wallet address, which would be the same as any NEO address. Um, and I'm going to paste that. I'm just going to copy and paste my amount. And over here, I can select my asset. So I can send NEO. Send gas, it's going to give me an error more than I own because I don't have any NEO or gas in here. Or I can send DBC. Okay, so that is different from the Neon Wallet because if I click send on the Neon Wallet, I can toggle between NEO and gas, but I cannot, there are no features to do DBC or any other NEP5 token. So I'm going to click to send my DBC here on Neo Tracker. Are you sure you want to do this? Confirm and transfer initiated to send to address. So that's the transfer. Um, transactions typically take one minute to confirm and appear on the Explorer. So we can actually, within a Neo Tracker, we can look on the Explorer. Um, it may take a minute to, to get on here, um, but you can look at, at all of this directly through here. Um, sent to this address. So we can click close on here you can see that the dbc is now missing from my wallet and if we go back over to um, kucoin click assets and now if we sort by the available amount this may take a minute to actually come through um, but we will then be able to see our deep brand chain show up on KuCoin again, and then we can sell that if we want to or whatever. Um, so that is a quick overview of how to work with KuCoin, Neo Tracker, and the Neon Wallet to store your NEP5 tokens. Um, this is, if, if you want to sign up for KuCoin, just again, there is a a link in the description below. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching the channel. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you found it helpful. And until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Command.